Have you ever been curious about the origins of the formidable Yacha, the predators? Join me as we travel back to Yacha Prime, the birthplace of a civilization that would become both legendary and feared across the cosmos. Intriguingly, the Yacha weren't always the ruthless hunters we know today. In their nascent days, the Yacha were humanoid and part of a highly advanced society. As a class two civilization on the Kardashev scale, they harnessed solar energy and had the ability to traverse the vast expanses of interstellar space. Unlike their later, more primal reputation, the Yacha were driven by scientific curiosity and a quest for knowledge. Their society thrived on technological innovation, featuring advanced cloaking devices and plasma weapons, which were designed primarily for defense rather than aggression. Enter the engineers, a mysterious species known for their advanced technology and mastery of bioengineering. Often considered a type two or even type three civilization, the engineers could harness the energy of entire star systems and manipulate cosmic forces. Their ambitions led them to Yacha Prime, a planet they sought to conquer and add to their collection. The engineers underestimated the Yacha. Despite their advanced defenses and plasma weaponry, the engineers' first attempt to seize Yacha Prime met with fierce resistance. The Yacha's superior technology and unyielding spirit thwarted the engineers' initial efforts, a significant blow to the would-be conquerors. But the engineers were relentless. They devised a sinister plan to overcome the Yacha's defenses a bioweapon known as the Black Goo. This pathogen was no ordinary virus. Designed to cleanse planets of any non-botanical life forms, it had three known effects. It could kill incompatible hosts outright, mutate compatible ones into aggressive abominations, or gestate a parasitic organism that would create a hybridized predatory organism known as a neomorph. This twisted form of biowarfare aimed to create the perfect killing machine. When the engineers unleashed the black goo on Yacha Prime, the results were catastrophic. Despite their advanced technology, the Yacha were helpless against the pathogen. They suffered severe mutations, becoming more aggressive and less intellectual. However, these mutations also made them bigger, stronger, and more durable in battle. Though they lost some of their intellect, halting the creation of new technology, they could still use and modify their existing technology, including cloaking devices and plasma weapons. The engineer's plan had backfired. Instead of wiping out the Yacha, the Black Goo had transformed them into a new breed of predator. Their appearance changed with reptilian skin, dynamic mandibles, and green blood. They perceived the world solely in infrared and became a society of hunters, with a hierarchical structure where the strongest ascended to the pinnacle. The Yacha, despite their mutations, retained control. They were fighters and survivors, a race not easily brought to its knees. The engineers had underestimated them, thinking the loss of intellect would make them weak. Instead, the Yacha harnessed their heightened aggression to become formidable warriors. They turned the engineers' weapon against them, becoming the new breed of predators we recognize today. But the battle was far from over. The Yacha were ready for whatever the engineers would throw at them next. They had faced the worst and survived, emerging stronger and more fearsome than ever before. Following their transformation, the Yacha society underwent significant changes. The once scientific and exploratory civilization evolved into a culture centered around hunting and combat. Their technology, once used for exploration and defense, was now adapted for hunting. Cloaking devices allowed them to become nearly invisible, and plasma weapons became tools of the hunt. The Yacha established a new societal structure based on strength and prowess in hunting. Young Yacha underwent rigorous training, learning the art of the hunt and the use of their advanced weaponry. Success in the hunt became the ultimate measure of one's worth, and those who proved themselves as the strongest and most cunning ascended the ranks. The Yacha's honor code emerged, emphasizing the importance of a fair hunt and respect for worthy adversaries. This code became a cornerstone of their culture, guiding their actions and interactions with other species. The mutations had endowed the Yacha with incredible physical abilities, making them formidable opponents. They were stronger, faster, and more resilient, with heightened senses that made them superb hunters. Their infrared vision allowed them to track prey even in the darkest environments, and their enhanced strength and agility made them nearly unstoppable in combat. The engineers, humiliated by their initial failure, were not ready to give up. They saw the transformed Yacha as both a threat and a challenge. Determined to reclaim Yacha Prime, they began devising new strategies and weapons to subdue the predators. This time, they were prepared to employ even more advanced technologies and bioengineering techniques. Rumors suggest that the engineers experimented on themselves, 
enhancing their own DNA to gain an edge in their pursuit of dominance. This self-modification raised questions about the extent of their bioengineering capabilities and whether they had integrated technologies from other conquered species into their biology. The engineers' willingness to alter themselves hinted at their desperation and their relentless drive for power. In their laboratories, the engineers embarked on a series of radical experiments. They sought to enhance their physical and mental capabilities, merging their own genetic material with that of other advanced species. This interspecies genetic fusion aimed to create a race of super engineers capable of unparalleled strength, intelligence, and resilience. Their ambition knew no bounds, and their experiments pushed the limits of ethical boundaries and scientific understanding. One of the most ambitious projects undertaken by the engineers was the development of nanotechnology infused biology. By integrating nanobots into their bloodstream, they aimed to achieve rapid cellular regeneration, heightened physical abilities, and superior cognitive functions. These nanobots could repair tissue damage instantaneously, making the engineers nearly invincible in combat. Moreover, this technological symbiosis allowed them to interface directly with their advanced machinery, creating a seamless blend of organic and inorganic capabilities. The engineers also delved into the realm of psionics, exploring the potential of mental augmentation. They experimented with enhancing their cognitive abilities through neural enhancements and telepathic capabilities. This gave them the power to communicate over vast distances and manipulate objects with their minds. Such abilities would provide them with a strategic advantage in their renewed efforts to conquer Yocha Prime. Their desperation drove them to explore forbidden realms of science, including time manipulation and quantum entanglement. By bending the fabric of space-time, the engineers hoped to gain an edge over the Yocha, anticipating their moves and countering them with precision. This manipulation of time itself was a testament to the engineers' audacious ambition and their relentless pursuit of ultimate power. The engineers' willingness to experiment on themselves and push the boundaries of science revealed their desperation and unyielding drive for dominance. They viewed the Yacha not just as adversaries but as a mirror reflecting their own potential for greatness. The clash between these two formidable species was more than a battle for territory, it was a contest of evolutionary supremacy a test to determine which species would emerge as the pinnacle of cosmic power. Armed with their newfound abilities and enhanced technologies, the engineers launched a second assault on Yacha Prime. This time, they were not merely conquerors but beings who had transcended their original forms. They employed advanced weaponry, bioengineered soldiers, and psionic warriors to overwhelm the Yacha defenses. The Yacha, though transformed into formidable hunters, faced an unprecedented challenge. The engineers' relentless assault tested the limits of their strength and adaptability. The battlefield became a crucible where the fate of both species hung in the balance. The Yacha's resilience and combat prowess clashed with the engineers' advanced technology and genetic enhancements in a conflict that would determine the future of Yacha Prime. Despite their advancements, the engineers' hubris became their undoing. Their over-reliance on technology and genetic modifications led to unforeseen consequences. The Yacha, driven by their primal instincts and honed by their harsh environment, exploited the engineers' weaknesses. The battle became a war of attrition, with the Yacha using guerrilla tactics and their intimate knowledge of their home planet to outmaneuver their technologically superior foes. The conflict reached its zenith when the Yacha, tapping into their ancestral ingenuity, discovered a way to disrupt the engineers' nanotechnology. By deploying a counter nanotech virus, they neutralized the engineers' regenerative abilities, leveling the playing field. The engineers, stripped of their technological crutches, faced the raw and unyielding fury of the Yacha. Desperate to find a way to subdue the Yacha, the engineers turned to their darkest and most perilous creation, the Xenomorphs. These creatures were engineered to be the ultimate biological weapons. Designed with a parasitic life cycle, the Xenomorphs could implant embryos into hosts, leading to the rapid gestation and emergence of deadly predators. This bioweapon was meant to infiltrate and annihilate enemy populations from within. The Xenomorphs were more than mere monsters, they were a sophisticated amalgamation of lethal traits. They had acidic blood, making them difficult to injure, and an unparalleled capacity for adaptation. The engineers believed that unleashing these creatures on Yacha Prime would decimate the Yacha population and pave the way for their conquest. However, the engineers underestimated the resilience of the Yacha once again. The introduction of the Xenomorphs led to a brutal, three-way conflict. The Yacha, with their formidable hunting skills, faced off against both the engineers and the nightmarish Xenomorphs. 
This battle tested their survival instincts and combat prowess like never before. The aftermath of this epic confrontation left both civilizations irrevocably changed. The Yacha emerged victorious, solidifying their reputation as the galaxy's most fearsome hunters. The engineers, humbled and decimated, retreated into the shadows, their ambitions of conquest thwarted. The battle for Yacha Prime became a legend, a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Yacha and the perilous folly of the engineers. Despite the engineers' relentless pursuit and the introduction of the xenomorphs, the Yacha endured. Their society continued to evolve, turning adversity into strength. They became legendary hunters, feared and respected across the galaxy. Their story is one of resilience and transformation, from peaceful scientists to formidable predators. The tale of the Yacha is a captivating saga of survival and evolution. From their origins as a scientifically advanced civilization to their transformation into ruthless hunters, the Yacha have continually adapted to survive. Their encounters with the engineers and the subsequent conflicts have only strengthened their resolve and honed their skills. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Leave a comment below if you think the engineers' genetic modifications will lead to their resurgence or if the Yacha will remain the ultimate hunters.